Most people can't afford and don't need something like a Shure SM7B. In fact, I don't even have one. I used this guy for two years. Honestly, it sounded great. Today, we're gonna walk through some audio filters to make your mic sound pretty good too. But before we get into making this guy sound better, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Owned.TV. Graphic designers are absurdly expensive and can take days to weeks to finish your designs. But with Own.TV, you have access to hundreds of high quality overlays, alerts, badges, banners, and more. The best part, they are affordable and you get them instantly without any wait time. Once you picked out something that you like, don't forget to use the coupon code on the screen for 50% off whatever you purchase. And the link is in the description. I said 50% off, right? 50% off on the designs, what the heck? Now let's get back to fixing our crappy audio. Okay, so now that we have this mic set up, you're probably gonna hear some slight background noise and maybe some not normalized audio. So, you know, it's gonna not sound great. Before we get into the audio effects that make it sound great, we need to first go to settings and make sure everything is in place. So settings is on the right-hand side near the bottom. You should know where settings is. If you don't, then check my other videos. Click on settings and then we're gonna go to audio and we're gonna make sure that in mic auxiliary audio We have the correct microphone enabled and we're gonna make sure that desktop audio one and two are disabled All right, the rest of this uh, in order to hear yourself You're gonna want to click monitoring device and you're gonna want to find the thing that you need to hear yourself in for me It's gonna be the headphones, which will be important in a little bit So find your audio device and then you're good to go click apply and then click. Okay There are two main ways you can use to check how your audio is going basically as you change it one of those ways is to do recordings so you can just come over here and hit rec start recording and then just after every tweak you can kind of see how it sounds this might take a little bit longer but it's also the cleanest way of doing it or you can hit the little gear icon in the audio mixer and you can go ahead and hit monitor and in the audio monitoring section you will be able to hear your own voice which is very odd it will allow you to hear you know adjustments that you're making first thing I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna add a noise suppression because because I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing my computer and loud fans <laughs> wailing at the top of their fan speed. So let's go ahead and hit filters. And then you're gonna notice it's blank because I have nothing on this mic currently. So we're gonna hit plus sign and then we're gonna hit a noise suppression. You can just label it noise suppression, no big deal. And then now it should be starting to filter out some of those sounds. I usually keep mine on the RN noise. I find that that has worked best, but you can also use the speaks and you can go ahead and change the suppression level based on how you see fit. Starting with the noise suppression allows me to get some of the annoying sounds out of the way. So next up after the noise suppression is going to be the EQ. Thankfully, in the newer editions of OBS, I'm on the newest edition, OBS 29 point something, they actually have a three band equalizer. So we're going to hit this equalizer button. We're going to hit OK button. And now this is probably a good point. Uh, if you want to go back into your advanced audio properties and your, your mixer thing, you probably want to listen to yourself on this one because you're going to want to hear the differences in your voice when you're moving up the high the mids, the lows. So I'm gonna hit the monitor and output. It is kind of annoying to talk in. Oh well, I'm gonna take my headphones on. Headphones are really important because you're not gonna be able to hear the little differences, if you will, from just listening through your speakers. When I do need to use headphones, I use not even that great of a pair. I use the HyperX Cloud 2s, which are like five, six years old and they work fine. They're in the description as well as the other gear that I use in case you're interested in just seeing what I have. Uh, it makes a difference. So I'm gonna put these on and despite I'm talking slower because it's echoing in my ears because that's what it's supposed to do, you're gonna notice that it's really annoying, especially if you're trying to talk for a video, probably slowing my speech down because I'm hearing myself multiple times. What I want to do here is I want to kind of play around with these sliders and just to see if my voice sounds better or worse or whatever. So highs, uh, we'll go ahead and lift the highs a little bit. Hello, testing, 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 testing. It's going to be coming like nasally almost. So let's go ahead and lower those a little bit. All right. And let's see about the mids. Testing, 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 testing. Testing, 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 testing. Wow, that sounds terrible. Testing, 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 testing. All right, here we go. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Testing, 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 testing. Let's go ahead and hit the lows. Uh, let's take the lows up. So testing, 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 testing. That's way too low. Testing, 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 testing. 
testing, 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 testing. So I think that is already sounding a little better. Okay, this is with the three band equalizer off. You can hear my voice as it is. And this is now with it on. So was there an improvement? You tell me. The best results come from experimentation. So you need to experiment with this three band equalizer on your voice and your mic through the recording method or the output method, whatever it is. You need to look at this, play with it and find something that you're comfortable with. So now that we have our three band equalizer, we need to add an expander. And what an expander does is it will tell the mic when to activate and that will help reduce some of the extra noises. It's kind of like a noise suppressor, but a little bit different. So let's hit the expander, hit expander. All right, so this one's gonna be pretty simple. All we gotta do is hit three and one ratio, return this all the way down. And we're gonna hit the attack to one. We're gonna put the release to about a hundred. So now that we have the basics of our expander set up, we need to replicate the quietest we'll ever talk on stream and raise the output gain so that we are constantly in this higher yellow area around this minus 10, minus 12 kind of area on our bar down here. So let's go ahead and talk into it very quietly. I'm gonna go very quietly. I'm gonna raise this up as if I'm just very, very quiet. And it looks like if I go all the way over here, it's gonna be way too high. So let's go back down. Oh man, that's loud. I think that this is about right with uh, about a five gain, uh, maybe five ish gain. So I think I think this is about where it needs to be because you'll notice that the bar is filling up right where the minus 10 to minus 15 area is. So I think that's going to be good. Now that we've gotten that part figured out, we want to move the threshold over far enough to where it activates the mic without cutting out our sound. You'll notice that I start dropping out around this area. So let me go to the left and see if I can get some of that audio back. I want to make sure I'm not dipping myself here of any potential sound. Okay. So it looks like maybe the minus 28 is kind of in the ballpark. Now let's add the next thing so I can stop whispering. The next thing is a compressor. So now that we have a compressor, we're going to be able to keep our volume in one specific volume range. So it doesn't go too high. It doesn't go too low. We're going to keep it nice and tight. That's what the compressor helps us with. So the settings are going to be pretty similar. We're going to still have a three to one ratio. We're going to move the threshold this way. This time we're going to move the threshold all the way to the right. And you'll see why in a second. We're going to move the attack down to one. We're going to move the release up to a hundred if I can hit it. 102 is fine. Now the goal is to just move this threshold over to where I'm not peaking anymore. Peaking being I'm going very far into the red. So let me go ahead and go ah, and then you can see it, it's it, it's peaking still. So let's go down a bit and let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Ah, like I'm at the doctor. And there we go. So now even if I yell at the mic, hey, hey, I'm barely going into the red. I'm pretty much staying in the yellow. I can go a little bit, tiny bit more. Hey, hey, woo. Yes. And you can see that no matter what I say, it is still not going in the red very much. So that is that is a okay. That is excellent. That's what we want. And if you notice that when you did the compressor, it is a little too low. You can even uh, gain it a little bit, but it generally is going to be okay if it's as long as it's in that like negative 15 area is what I would recommend. So already the mic should be sounding a lot better. I can get as loud as I want and I can find two things like I, I went back and, and made the expander a little bit lower uh, and the compressor is I turned the output gain down. So you're going to have to experiment a little bit with this stuff. But the last thing that we need is to just as a safety measure, we want to add a limiter and the limiter is going to stop us from ever. And I mean ever peaking like badly is something drastic happens then at least this filter will catch us or we break someone's eardrums. It should never get to this point. It's better to be safe than sorry. Might as well add it. It takes two seconds. Remember, these are the basics. I mean, like barely scratching the surface of audio effects and different things like that. If you run into any issues, let me know. I'm sure this isn't going to be a one size fits all for everybody, especially since everyone has a different voice. Everyone has a different mic, different audio setup. It just gets really complicated from, from here, but at least this will be a basic introductory guide that can help you get to, you know, not breaking people's eardrums as quickly as possible. Yeah, here's some helpful videos to continue learning about OBS on each side of me. Feel free to click them. YouTube recommended them, of course, and see you in the next one.